Good evening, everybody. Well, thank you very much for that kind introduction. Um, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to say. Vivian has outlined the history of the society, and we're certainly entering a period of um, commemoration. Um, I'm just going to say a few words about the site itself. I haven't seen the film. I'm looking forward to that greatly. But um, I just want to sort of take you back to the involvement of the society, because it's very much the story of Running Me Bridge excavations is very much the story of the society and it's a very complex story and I haven't got time to go into it all but I can tell you that the um, the origin of, of this very very important Bronze Age site owes its discovery to a rodent I'm not sure whether it was a rabbit or a rat or a stoat or whatever but anyway as part of the survey work for the M25 we're talking about the early 1970s um, Surrey Archaeological Society, Surrey County Council, and I believe various other government funding bodies um, put together a plan for, for investigation of the line of the M25 as it passed through Surrey. And obviously, this is a very considerable part of the motorway. Um, partly um, as a result of the failure, perhaps, to do anything very much about the M3. We knew there was an awful lot of archaeology in the area, we just had no idea how much there was. That's another story. I believe there are booklets or publications in the museum which will explain that in more detail. However, let's take you back to the early part of 1974. Um, just field walking in the area of Running Me Bridge. Um, imagine a cold. I can't remember the time of the year, but I remember it was very, very cold. It probably was about November. Um, walking along the edge of the spillway and seeing um, out of a rabbit hole or a rodent hole pieces of what were obviously, to me, prehistoric pottery. Um, it's almost a, a classic story, but it's worth repeating for that, for that reason. By that time, there was a full-time team led by Bernard Johnson, and there were various other archaeologists, uh, on professional archaeologists. I, I hasten to add, was a mere amateur um, living in Egham at the time. And so one thing led to another, as they say, and before long, a full-scale excavation was undertaken on the site, which led to the publication of the site, the Runnymede Bridge Bronze Age site. Um, subsequently, another site on the opposite side of the motorway bridge abutment was uh, excavated by uh, Dr. Stuart Needham at the time of the British Museum, which was a Bronze Age and Neolithic site. So quite a lot of complexity in a very small area. Um, as I say, a complete um, <coughs> discovery in the sense that nobody knew it was there before. Um, and during the course of the work, um, we got talking to various people who had been around a lot longer than I had been, um, and I came across somebody who'd actually worked for the original contractors of Running Me Bridge as was, the Fine Lutchens Bridge, um, Brick and Stone Bridge, um, in the late 1950s, early 1960s. And he provided a most remarkable anecdote about how, um, against the side of the hut, the wooden hut that was the headquarters of the operation there, it was piled high with bones and antlers and pottery from the excavations. And everybody who was employed at the time was under um, threat of sack if they mentioned it to those bleep bleep archaeologists. Um, I like to think things have moved on, but I don't know. But anyway, the point is, the whole of that area is, is a huge archaeological site and had been if we'd only known about it then. Um, it's now a, what's the word I want? Um, the site is um, a, a, a protected. It's a scheduled ancient monument, thank you. So Egham has its own scheduled ancient monument. And the story carries forward from four, more than 40 years ago. At the beginning of this year, 19, uh, 2016, a site in the Avenue Egham produced further evidence of Bronze Age occupation. So how big this site is, is getting very difficult to, 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 to ascertain. Um, it seems to be spreading and spreading. Um, very, very important. It links 
uh, internal trade, it links international trade in the late Bronze Age. Um, read all about it in the publications that have, have taken place, but there's more information coming to light all the time. Um, I commend Bill's work and look forward very much to seeing exactly what, um, what we have in Egham and um, hope you appreciate just what, uh, what we do have. So thank you very much.